Hey guys, it's Lyric. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing my March plan with me. I do a plan with me video every month, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I'll just be talking about my spread and if you guys ever recreate it or kind of do the same theme that I do, please tag me in your pictures and stuff so I can see it and comment because I just think that's super cool and that's really all I have to say. <sighs> Um, bullet journaling keeps me organized. It's the best system for me personally, but yeah, let's get into it and plan for March. Okay, so for the first page, I started out with some washi tape. If you saw my last February plan with me video, I used washi tape for the first time and I loved it so much. I don't know why, it just adds something to the page and I love how it makes the page feel. So I decided to try it out this time and I was obsessed with the color and the ombre. I just think it was so pretty. So that's what I started out my cover page with. Now on to the actual cover page where I actually draw. So for the theme, I decided to go with stars. I started by just drawing a circle in the middle so that the word March popped out a little bit. And basically my theme colors are pastel colors. That is basically my brand. I love pastel, light colors, light and airy. They just make me so happy. So that is what this theme was. I used pink, blue, green, and orange, and I just drew a bunch of little stars. And I just think it's really cute because it's not very hard to do at all, but it's super pretty and I really liked it. Then on the next page, I always do a quote on this page and I try to make it go with the theme a little bit. But the quote for this month was, if the stars were made to worship, so will I. The orange is a little bit hard to see in the video, but that's what the words said. I love this quote it's from a worship song i forgot what it's called but it's a really popular one and i really 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 like it i put little stars around the word stars just to make it pop a little bit more but yeah that is the quote for the month Here's the overview of my cover page and my quote. I really like it, super excited for March, and yeah. Now on to the monthly calendar, I think that's what you call it. I decided to try to make my squares a little bit bigger this month. I usually do five by five, but this time I did six by six, I believe and it just gives me a little bit more space to plan out the events and dates and stuff that are happening. Now one thing I did forget that I seem to forget a lot was to put the days of the week on top. I don't know why I forget this all the time but I've added it by now, it just isn't in the video. Then I did the little dots for the numbers, I used the four colors for my theme and just filled them all in. I'm thinking maybe next month I'll try doing lines, like vertical lines on the top. I don't know, but I decided to go with the dots this time. Don't stop looking in my eyes. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? Now I'm just writing March. I always write the month on the top of the page and then I start drawing my stars. Super simple, super self-explanatory. I think it's kind of satisfying to watch the stars just pop up around the page. I don't know. I just think it's cool. But I'm just content with me next to you. Let's go to an art museum. I'll explain it at the coffee shop. No, you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much. 
Then I decided to add a little drop shadow or outline thing to the word March because I felt like it needed to pop a little bit more and was blending in with all the stars. So that's what I just did. I'll have a cup of tea while you have a latte for both you and me. The caffeine will make sure that you don't fall asleep because darling, you're sleepy. Eyes are closing. Now on to the next page. I forgot to do a little overview of it, but you'll see the monthly setup in the end. So now I'm moving on to my video ideas and goals page. This is basically really simple page. I will write down my video ideas and kind of plan out my videos for the month. And on the other side, I have all of my goals. But I did the washi tape again because I really loved it. I just love, I think it's so aesthetically pleasing. So I did the washi tape border on both pages and I think that turned out pretty well. If you guys have any ideas for different spreads that I might like or that might be my style, like I don't do the habit trackers just because I don't prefer them, but if you guys can think of anything, just comment them down below and I might incorporate them into my next plan with me if they are something that would work well for me or a good system that I can use. So just comment whatever comes to mind and it'll give me some more ideas so that every month is it the exact same and I'm not doing the same thing every time. So just comment down below whatever you think I would use. I've said that like five times, I'm sorry. Now I'm just writing down the title. I wrote video ideas and then I wrote goals and added some little stars at the bottom just because I feel like with the video ideas on the side it has two words and then goals is just one so I always feel like I need to add something underneath and then I drew a black outline around the words to make them pop a little bit more since these are lighter colors they kind of blend in with the page a little bit more so I like outlining my titles in black just so they can pop and you can see them a little bit better. I do the same weekly setup for every week just to keep it simple and to save some time because I used to do every week a different type of setup and draw a lot of things and it just took up so much time which I do not have as much of this year or this time around so I just do these six little lines uh, three on each side two for each row and then I color them in and at the top I will write the month in normal letters just kind of block letters and then on top i will use a thin black marker to write them in calligraphy and i just love the title it's super simple and then on top of all of the lines i'll write the date and the day and that's basically all i'll do for the setup and then i will add whatever my theme is so i'll add some stars around the paper to keep the theme going and that's all i do for my weekly setup
Okay guys, so that is all for my March plan with me. Like I said in the middle of the video, if you have any spread ideas or new things that you think I should incorporate in my monthly spread, let me know in the comments because I feel like I could add something. I don't want every month to be the exact same. So if you find any ideas on Pinterest or anything, just comment down below or send a link to a picture and I may possibly put that into my next plan with me if it works with me and my vibe. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to tag me if you attempt to kind of recreate this i hope you guys are having a great day i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye hey, hey.